you are raising these really adorable chickens that are gonna lay beautiful eggs for you. And one thing to keep in mind is that while they're totally pets in your mind, will have really cute, funny names and personalities, they are plump, tasty ground birds to a variety of creatures, namely the raccoon, also dogs, and occasionally possums, skunks, and even packs of rats. So your job is to keep them as safe as you can while keeping those things in mind. So you may end up at a minimum having carabiners or some type of nice latch on any door that opens up and also all windows to your chicken coop. And then you're also gonna think about digging down for your run. You might have the chicken wire or the mesh hardware cloth buried six to eight inches below ground so that things can't burrow into your chicken run. And you wanna make sure that something can't lift up your chicken house and then get underneath. So thinking about safety is really important. Make sure that things are as secure as they can be, especially at night when they're sleeping, that they're locked up and a raccoon can't reach in and grab one of your chickens. So that's something to be really careful with. One of the other possible predators is hawks. So if your chickens are in a fully enclosed run, they're likely to be completely safe from that. When they're in a more open setting, we're hoping that our goats will be dog-like enough to keep birds like hawks away, but the hawks have no idea that they're your pets. That's our little bantam. She's a bearded duclay, which is a Belgian breed. And she is over three years old and lays a very big egg, considered how small her little body size is. So I'll give her some privacy and close this back up. And then across here we have a little bar and we have a padlock. And the padlock is based on the idea that we wanted to make sure that raccoons couldn't open anything up. So we had padlocks on any door that could open. You can also use carabiners. You just want to make sure that if there was a really dexterous little child, whether they could figure out how to open something up if there was candy or really great toys on the other side, because basically a raccoon, there's something pretty exciting on the other end of whatever you're using. So you want to make sure that it's shut as securely as possible and that that includes nest boxes if they're open to the outside. If you have any windows, sometimes people only have a latch that spins and doesn't actually have a clasp of a carabiner or a lock. Raccoons can open those things really easily and they can climb all over your chicken house. So security is very important. You're not allowed in here. No, you're not. Nice try. Whoop, chicken coming in and out there. So there's a latch at the top. And then we end up using this to lock it at night here. This would just be an option where it would be difficult for a raccoon to spin that all the way down and then pop this up out of something. It would be pretty tricky. And if you have heavy raccoon pressure, it is possible that the raccoon could fiddle long enough that it could open one of these up. So just to use your judgment if you know you've got a lot of predator pressure, then something that swivels all the way shut or that's an actual little padlock would definitely keep them out because there are people that have more predator pressure than others.